initially, you have one thing, right? Waze, Google, uh, other navigation apps, they direct people to the Route 8 ramp. Why, and that's why people jump on the side roads. That's sort of the goal because that helps them skip everything. If that ramp is closed, then the navigation software does not reroute them, right? So the, the algorithm tells them, stay on 50, it's quicker. Some people have asked, well, why can't we have a left turn onto the Route 8 exit from, so people in Southern Kent Island can then get up and turn left. If you do that, the ramp is still open, right? You might have one part closed, but it's still open and the navigation software will still route people there. If you were to tell them it's closed and it's not, the navigation software will pick up when people are using that ramp and then it will say, okay, well, this is open now. We're gonna reroute them that way. So by closing the Route 8 ramp and, and uh, detouring those that would use it back to Castle Marina, which is only 1.6 miles away from the Route 8 overpass, it's gonna add on a no traffic day, six and a half minutes. On a heavy traffic day, it might add 10 minutes. And we understand that. And, and we are hoping that that is something that our residents will say, I can live with. To watch the entire video series, please head to the QAC TV YouTube page. And while you're there, give us a like, a share, and subscribe so you can hear about all the wonderful things going on in this county. Thanks for watching.